Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pundit. In this Azure Data Factory Master Program video series, in this particular session, we will see mastering Azure Blob types and use cases and best practices, which means we have a three types of blobs. We will discuss each blob types, what is the use cases, when to go for what type of blob. So it is very important interview question. Many interviewer will ask this particular question. And this is very important to know in order to understand when to go for what type of blob. Let's quickly discuss. So there are uh, three different blobs we have. So these three different blob types in Azure Blob Storage are designed for a specific uses and making storage efficient and flexible based on your requirement. So basically we will not have a same or similar requirements, right? So we, we have to store our audio files, video files. We will have the virtual hard disk, meaning hard disk backups we need to store. We are getting the streaming data we need to add or we are getting the application logs we need to store. So a lot of requirements will be there. So for each of these kind of a requirement, which type of blob is suitable? Right. So based on the some category of uh, requirements, they have divided the blobs into the three types. These divisions ensures if we effective solution for various data storage needs based on your data storage need, you can choose. But uh, based on your storage need, if you want to choose the blog blob or page blob or append blob, you need to understand what is the recommended approach or recommended uh, or data that you can able to store it in the blog block blob. What is the recommended data that you can able to store it in the page blob or append blob? Okay, let's see these three block blobs. We, uh, sorry, these three blob types will quickly discuss and we will also discuss some uh, questions that are possibly asked on these three types of blobs. So what are the three types of blob blob types block blob page blob append blob? Okay. Let's see. First, let's discuss block blob. What is block blob? Block blobs are designed for storing large amount of text or binary data as a collection of blocks. Collection of blocks means so if you have 100 uh, GB of data, your 100 of 100 GB of data will be divided into small small blocks, and all those blocks will be parallelly uploaded, and it will be creating the single blob. Getting so block blobs are designed for storing large amount of text or binary data as a collection of blobs because a lot of block blocks will be created. So each block size can be a uh, you can choose from 1 KB to 100 MB, right? So by default, it will be chosen as a 4 MB, but if you want to increase or decrease anything, you can able to do. You can upload blocks in parallel and then commit them to create a block block. Basically, if you have a 100 GB of file. And you can uh, just upload that file. That file basically uh, small small chunks will be divided, and each chunk will be uploaded into the one one block. So all these blocks will be uploaded parallelly, and it will commit them. All the blocks will be committed to create a one file. Okay, in the blob blob storage. Okay. So when to go for this particular blob block blob? So the first use case is for storing images, videos, and other multimedia files. It can be any audio or other things. Okay. Backing up and archiving large data sets. If we have a large volume of backup uh, videos or backup images, okay, any archival or compressed files, right? So everything you can able to store. So storing application logs and the diagnostics data. So storing application logs means application logs which are already collected not on uh, like on the fly whatever you are receiving you are not storing because on the fly directly if you are redirecting your application logs into the blob storage then append blob is recommended so block blob when you can go for is if you have a application logs for last uh, one year which are basically needs to be archived because if at all any issue is there then only developer will come back and look at the application logs otherwise uh, safe side we want to store so when we are storing them for safe side we can able to compress them and store it here as a backup so that whenever we need it we will access otherwise we won't access it okay 
any diagnostics data diagnostics data means if you want to understand what is the problem there are some kind of a data sets so based on the data you want to understand okay based on the uh, blood samples right we will understand this could be the so blood samples they will say hemoglobin this much should be there and the cells should be this much should be there for this particular male or female so based on those references we will diagnostics right so that kind of a diagnostics data if you have anything you can able to upload that kind of data also in the block blob so block blobs are mainly for storing the large volume of unstructured data into the blocks these blocks will upload in parallel and commit them to create a one block blob so the block blob uh, the main use cases are image video documents any other multimedia or any backups any application logs which are already taken yeah, all these things you can able to store it in the block blob let's move on to the next blob type so page blob so page blobs are optimized for random read and write operations you want to read the data you want to write the data continuously into the blob storage they are commonly used for storing virtual machine disk and providing the low latency access low latency means so the access time will, will be very less so this particular page blob is mainly used for storing the virtual machine disk so in the previous session also when i am uploading the file i have shown you so there itself it will write dot vhd is recommended uh, to upload in the page blob there is a recommendation will be keep showing okay always whatever blob type you are using always it will show so page blobs are mainly used for uh, storing the virtual machine disk to provide the low latency to the end user okay so if you are uh, basically when you are using virtual machine what happens you are keep writing the data keep uh, reading the data using that particular machine so that machine will store the data in the back end disk right so to read the data quickly to write the data quickly uh, right so in order to do that we need to have the uh, specialized blob that is a page blob which helps us to quickly read data from the hard disk that's why we have a spark and all these things right so from the disk if you are reading data it takes a lot of time then reading data from memory that's why spark will process data in memory uh, it is uh, quickly market or clients are adapted and it is very popular now spark that's where the spark is uh, we are using with the databricks databricks is everywhere we are using that's right that's why use cases if you see storing virtual mission disk for azure virtual mission running virtual databases with i high uh, input i uh, output requirements if you want to run the virtual databases meaning databases which are hosted in the uh, cloud so if you want to run those things uh, those particular virtual databases also you can upload in the page blocks storing data that requires frequent updates and random access you are storing whatever data you are storing in this particular block you want to keep updating that particular data you want to frequently read the data frequently write the data frequently delete the data if you have such type of requirements you can choose the page blob okay final blob is append blob so in the name itself it is there append blobs are designed for scenarios where data needs to be appended to an existing blob what is append adding to the end of the line right so append means adding at the end of the line so these append blobs are designed for scenarios where data need to be appended to an existing blob so new data is always added to the end of the blob making it suitable for logging scenarios for example if you are collecting application logs what happened if i have logged in into the application it says uh, malai has logged in if i click on uh, like uh, search for laptop product right it will say searching uh, for laptop right i i have added into the uh, cart then it will show like added into the cut all those things it will be keep tracking meaning it is keep adding the logs that is the append scenario the best example so storing log uh, log data generated by the application it can be any web application like net banking or flipkart amazon okay any travel application red bus aps rtc ts rtc ks rtc and so on okay not only that capturing sensor data in from the iot applications internet of things right if you are accessing a lot of sensor data uh, right uh, so that particular sensor data also you keep adding into the append block and uh, recording streaming media content if you are uh, uh, recording some streaming uh, jobs uh, not streaming jobs let's say somebody is uh, uh, delivering some content in the 
in the live, right? So those things you can record and you can able to put it in the append block because whatever is discussing, it will whatever data is generated, keep adding into the append block, right? So these are the some of the use cases for the append block. Let's see now some of the questions we will discuss, right? What is the primary design purpose of block blobs in the Azure Blob Storage? Remember. So block blobs are mainly used for storing the unstructured data such as audio, video, images, right? So efficient storage for large binary and textual data in blocks, optimize random read write operations, creating specialized data structures. As you know, it is efficient storage of large binary and textual data in blocks, block, uh, block, block. The answer is B. Question number two, which of the following use cases is suitable for block block? Running virtual okay. databases, capturing sensor data, storing image and videos, recording streaming media content, no. Block blocks are recommended for storing images and videos. The answer C is correct. What is the key feature of block blocks when uploading the data? Add it to the beginning of the blob. Blob can be uploaded one at a time. Blocks can be uploaded in parallel and then committed. The answer C is correct. We no need to even look at the fourth option. The answer C is correct. What is the primary advantage of page blocks in Azure Blob Storage? The low storage cost, sequential read and write operations, optimized for storing small files, high latency access. No. Sequential read and write operations. If we have for continuous read and write or update operations, we can go for the page blob. Which scenarios is page blob optimized for storing virtual mission disk? Yes, that is the ultimate example. So as I mentioned, when you are creating the blob storage also, that option will keep showing you page blobs are optimized for storing virtual mission disk. So option A is correct. Okay. Page blobs are commonly used in which context? Virtual. So out of this, you know, not for application log, for, for storing image videos, no. Capturing real-time sensor data, no. The right answer is virtual mission disk for Azure virtual missions. Okay, the answer B is correct. Okay, let's see the next question. So what distinguishes append blobs from other blobs? As you know, the append blobs is basically for the appending. Okay, so data is only appended to the end of the block. That is the right answer. The answer B is correct. What type of data is append blob suitable for? So as you know, the append blob is suitable for real time sensor data because as the sensor data comes uh, real time, so we keep adding that particular data. So the answer B is correct. So next, which use case is ideal for append blob? So storing application logs. So directly we can say option A is correct. Okay, that's all uh, we have team. Thanks for watching my uh, this particular session. I request all of you to put your uh, questions, anything that you have in the comment session. I will respond for all your questions. I request all of you to subscribe my YouTube channel uh, so that uh, it basically encourages me to do more videos. Too. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for today.